Good morning, guys. Huge shadows here because it's really dark outside. I am so tired this morning. I am making my donut shop blend. There you go, my donut shop blend coffee this morning. <sighs> so, making my usual cafe mocha. I have um, the slow cooker out this morning. Oh, the shadows in here are unreal. I have my slow cooker out because we are doing a roast in that tonight, or actually for late afternoon. <sighs> What's with getting older, you guys? I needed these every night lately, and I'm not even, like, eating, overly eating. Ugh. I need to change my diet or add more fruit or something. Um... By the way, every morning, which I didn't take yet, I take, this is my favorite, um, <laughs> I remember when the gummies first came out, sorry, my left hand is weak, I'm starting to shake, um, my one, uh, okay, <laughs> When gummies first came out in vitamins, I laughed. I'm like, what? Like, how pathetic. People can't take a pill. <laughs> but um, I tried them when, like, they were on sale one time. And they're fun. They are fun to eat in the mornings, you guys. Um, gummy bears and the women's. I like the women's. And this particular brand, one a day, their gummies are really good. So, this is how much I have left. I have to buy some more, but they are fun. They're fun to eat, and they smell good, and they taste good. I tried another brand before, and they weren't as good. <sighs> so... Mm, I can smell that chocolate. So good. Don't want a lot. Look at all that. I feel like it's all chemicals. Maybe I should start using a milk or cleaner. I used to use my magic bullet on all these, but should start doing that again it whips it up a lot more like more professional <laughs> kind of mm -mm. let's go to the living room and look i have martina yesterday i was using her blankets and i had Ponette. she i have to find her some clothes So, because right now I, I took off her summer outfit and I was holding her. She's the perfect size sometimes. Sometimes I want a nice heavy baby and she has a really, like, defined body. It's, like, perfect. Perfect toddler. So yesterday I came across a tag, another tag that I would love to do is the New Year's tag. Come join the fun by Loves Me Re Some Reborns Babies too, and that's Shannon. And um, she pinned my comment. I was so feeling so happy. <laughs> so hey guys, it's the next day. I have Felicity Beige here. Um, the reason why I <laughs> have chosen to do the next day, I did answer Shannon's take yesterday, but um, all I was doing was 
staring at that screen, <laughs> the computer screen the whole time. I thought it was kind of boring. So today I thought that I would bring Felicity Beige. She is the Aurora Sky Sculpt, um, done by <coughs> Lorley Ingalls, a sculpt by Lorley Ingalls, um, reborn. Well, I bought her from Kelly's Weekend Nursery, and she used to be a uh, Snob 1313 from Facebook, but she changed, I mean, sorry, Facebook, eBay, but, um, she changed her name to Kelly's Weekend Nursery, and I would love to spend time with her. Uh, Frances picked her out, actually, and uh, her name, FB, Felicity Beige, is from Frances and I, Frances and Brenda. So, oh, and right now I, I need my, um, my tablet. Uh, my sons were playing with this, and... They took out, they uninstalled a few things and put in a few things, and now it's running really slow. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting for that, um, what better way to celebrate New Year's than to celebrate friendships? And uh, one of my very awesome friends in this Reborn community is Wendy of Weeby Dolls, and she sent this with uh, the box opening that I bought from her the azalea sculpt also by lorley eagles and i never tried it on her yet but i thought it'd be it'd look great on felicity why not share right <laughs> and then i thought this beautiful onesie that ashley oh what was that nice <clears throat> that ashley got me baby loves heart smith from youtube and instagram she sent me this not long ago. So I think the two together should look really, really nice. And I have my favorite winter booties. They might be a little big on her, but not too big. But they look really cute with that outfit. And I brought up my bins of winter hats. So I like to choose one from here that she could wear with that outfit. I'm thinking um, this one. Whoops. I'm thinking this one. But we'll see if it'll fit her. Um, what I discovered going downstairs in my storage room of all my nursery items um i actually really enjoyed going through my bins like i do organize everything everything is organized into bins by sizes by gender by uh seasons and i do enjoy it and going through them and see what i have so that's part of my joy in this hobby take this off of felicity and see what she looks like in that wonderful outfit idea. Oh, I love the way the angle sculpts. Like, look at the calves on there. If you can see that. I don't know what you can see. But look at the shape of the calves. Aren't they just wonderful? And I love how Kelly waits for babies. Take this off. And she has beautiful micro rooted hair. It's like let's see if I can show you. Like, it's so perfect. I love her. <laughs> She's so sweet. Isn't it amazing how different artists can make the same sculpt look so different? I love it. Okay, make sure that you can see her. 
<clears throat> and you will hear the furnace go on and off every once in a while. I live in northern Canada, so we, of course, in fact, it's snowing right now. While I'm waiting for my tablet to sign in and install, I'll just pan the camera. So yes, yeah, snowing outside. And it's actually not too... There's Francis and me years ago. So 16 outside right now, but I'm not sure and inside it's 69 and I find it warm in here. I, I like it in the 20. And there's Jeremy when he was a baby. <laughs> Question number one. What are my goals for the new year with my Reborn Doll hobby? Um, I love my Reborn Doll hobby pretty much as is. Of course, I would probably love to add a few more dolls in my collection. Um, the thing is, I can't afford anything right now. Like, even the year 2019, I've only had, um, I think, three bucks, or three or four. Okay, I had one on my birthday, one which was a beautiful gift from Wendy. I bought an Ashton Drake. I bought a Halloween alternative baby, which was on a super sale. And then I bought the Azalea sculpt but from Wendy at Weeby Dolls. But it was also at a discounted price. Um, so... I'm not sure what I can afford in the new year. Hopefully, once I get back on to teaching full-time permanently, that's when I'll start thinking about changing up my collection. But as for right now, it's going to stay as is. Um, my last video I've made about uh, my collection, I was saying that I would love to downsize. But actually, maybe I don't need to downsize because I do love all the dolls and I can never ever afford them again. I know that. Especially my toddlers and my child reborn doll. There is no way I can afford another one like that. So I would love to be able to, but I can't right now. So I have to think about my bills, <laughs> um, I have a lot of bills, and the dolls are not a pre like, I have, my collection is extremely large, as it is, oh, I should have bought a brush for her, oh, I love her, let's see, she should be wearing a wonder wafer, this is old, yeah, she is, Looks fairly new. Um, I would maybe like to downsize a couple of dolls. The dolls that I have no real bond with at all. There, I do have a couple of dolls like that. So, but for the most part, I know that I don't need to buy any more. I know that. Um, I have... I have so much, you guys. I don't need to add more. I could downsize, but I don't, I'm don't. i not really looking forward to downsizing right yet. So I think for now it's going to be as is until, until I get back home permanently and more bills are paid down. And then I'll see how it is. But as for my YouTube, I would love to grow my YouTube more and more. But as for the dolls... Um, I'm pretty content with how it is now. Um, I do have plans, like, because I have so many dolls I've never seen in, like, forever, I would love to do, like, um, a box, like, a, 
not box packing, but kind of like a, a new reveal and um, gather clothing for that particular doll and like celebrate um, a reveal. I'd like to do some more of those that I've done in the past. So, oh, she looks good. This is a beautiful color. This is Wendy's favorite color, by the way, and Ashley's. So, and no wonder it's a gorgeous color. Oh, that's great. Oh, my hair keeps getting caught in that microphone. <laughs> It is. I love her. See, oh, she's so sweet in this. It fits her perfectly. So, what are my goals for the new year with the Reborn Doll Hobby? Right now, it's on a halt. <laughs> it's on a standby right now. Uh, 1A, are there new artists you want to add to your collection? At this moment, no, but my collection is actually very big and it's, it's because that was my goal in the past. I did want to experience different artists and different dolls and I did. I purchased dolls from different artists just to see um, their styles and stuff like that. Now, did I put this on? too weird <laughs> oh oh my goodness she's so sweet oh my goodness <laughs> I can't even think right now she's just too sweet look at that look at that can you see <laughs> oh my goodness Oh. oh my goodness, I love it. Oh my, I just, I can't think right now. She is just too sweet. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Um. I'll just let you look at her while I try and answer these. So, um, in the past, I did want a new artist to have in my collection. As for right now, like I said, everything is on hold. So, I can't really plan for that. My goal right now is to get back on to a permanent job. <laughs> Are there... New sculpts or old sculpts you hope to acquire to add to your collection? Not at the moment, but if I do, like once I do get on, um, there is a, um, oh, Quinlan sculpt that I have my eye on. So hopefully it will be available when I have the funds for her. So we'll see about that. It's a Quinlan by Laura Lee Ingalls. I love Laura the eagle sculpts you guys i really do um as for new dolls and new sculpts i haven't seen any i'm trying not to look at them so because i mean why why bother looking at them if i'm just going to torture myself with dolls i can't have so not yet not yet um, 1C, do you see yourself adding new dolls and growing your collection, or do you see yourself downsizing your collection, or are you just trying to maintain and care what I currently have? Um, I could downsize a little bit, um, but as for the most part, I'm just going to maintain what I already have. 
She was so cute in this. I can't get over it. Okay. Um, two, do you plan to add different kind of doll to your collection this year? Like a Blythe doll or a Barbie, a Bratz? Classic doll from your childhood like a Cabbage Patch or a Madame Alexander? I never heard of Madame Alexander, but I was collecting Baby Lives and um, Love a Bella dolls. But not anymore. I put a stop to that because I just ran out of room. So I'd rather have room for these guys. Um, for these reborn dolls. Oh, I love her. Anyways. <laughs> um, not at this moment. I do not plan to add a different kind of doll to my collection. Um, I also, I was collecting LOL dolls, like the mini ones. But not anymore. Um. Yeah, I have a lot of baby lives already and I don't need any more. Um, number three, what sculpt surprised you this year in a good or bad way and why? Well, the azalea that I received is, wow, she is so spot on to how my family is. Um, I have a few Lurley Eagle sculpts that are spot on to how... Like, the skull shape, the body shape, the proportion is just perfect. I love the azalea sculpt so much. Um, as for sculpt in the bad way, I don't think so. No. I, I love all my dolls. They're all unique. They're all different. Well, a few of them can resemble a lot of the same. <laughs> but I do have a lot of unique dolls in my collection. So, I don't know. I just love them all. Um, let's see. Number four. Is there a forever baby or a dream baby in your list or in your collection? I have lots of forever babies. All my Lurley Eagles babies will be in my collection forever. Uh, all my Bonnie Brown babies. Um, I have a few. The ones that I might want to sell are from, like, the real bones or um well maybe not that anymore i don't know <laughs> but i think most of them right now i want to say they are in my for and the partial silicones that i have they'll always be in my collection well as i say who knows right we don't really know the future but as of right now they're all in my collection i there might be two or three like i said that i might want to sell but as for right now no I don't want to sell anything. I just like it as is. I have a lot of dolls, by the way. My collection is extremely huge. So, um, yeah. Like all the box openings in my playlist. Um, I'll put a link to that. Um, yeah. They're all but one are still in my collection in that list. <laughs> so... Well, maybe, well, there was two of them. One I sold for good. Um, she was a toddler size, but I forget her name. She was stunning. But I forget what sculpt she was. I did sell her. And then um, I sold another doll, a toddler doll. She was the Allura sculpt. And I missed her so much that I bought that sculpt again. By same artist, but different hair color different doll but I love that sculpt still so yeah my list my collection is extremely extremely large so <clears throat> number five how do you think the hobby has changed since you first entered it or joined um uh, the first thing that I noticed personally is their bodies they're coming out with better sculpted um cloth bodies and the fillings inside of the dolls are all different nowadays. And um, the hair is improving. The techniques um, are coming out with different, um, better hair quality. Uh, for I have a doll in my collection with silicone eyes. I've never heard of that before, but... This fantasy doll that I have, I named her Selenite. 
She is a fancy doll with silicone squishy eyes and they look so realistic and so perfect for all their fantasy baby. So like um the baby fat is now improved. The the crystals are like um what are they called? Glass beads are now improved. So the fillings inside have improved. The techniques of painting has improved. Um so I'm not talking about like artists. I'm talking about like the paint, the, the, like for instance, there's that, uh, the new FX paint, stuff like that. Like things are just improving for everyone, the artist and the collector. So, um, the last one she has a bonus. What's your favorite video to watch? But I know that in her video itself, she said, what, what is your favorite video to make or to watch? And I love, I do a variety on my channel. I have my vlogs, I have my drive arounds, I have my showing you my nature land that we own. Um, and I have like the stop motion, I have the role plays, I have um, not too many discussion videos, but um, the thing is about discussion videos is that I have a pretty open mind on everything. Like, you can convince me. Like, say if I have a certain opinion, somebody could convince me otherwise, and then my opinion will change. So, not much sense on doing discussion videos if I keep changing my mind all the time. So, but yeah. Anyways, guys, oh, I wanted to put these and booties on her and try and see if I don't know they look kind of big on her but I don't know what do you think and then maybe this hat will look really cute <laughs> Oh, she's my northern Canadian polar bear girl. <laughs> I don't know. She looks a little overdressed to me. <laughs> this hat's a little big on her, but oh, she looks cute. Yeah, it's big on her. Looks like a helmet. <laughs> looks like a little helmet on her. Oh. Oh, I love how she's weighted. I don't know how Kelly does it. I never opened up her babies, but wow, I love how she weights. I think this is too big on her. We'll find a bow for her. And these these boots are just maybe just some socks. Would look Cute. Aww. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her in this outfit. So perfect. Oh, she is just perfect. So these guys, hope that you're having a really wonderful day. Happy New Year to everybody. And hope that you join me in the new year. I have exciting new plans. I can't wait. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Match hand. Match hand, guys. Love you. Bye.